It is later on in the Saturday afternoon of July 18th, 2015, and this is Aylesbury, Saskatchewan. Looking in from the north. This is a ridged moraine under Aylesbury, bordered on the northeast by the Arm River Glacial Meltwater Channel, flowing down into the Capel system to the east. And Busy number 11 highway, known now as the Louis Riel Trail, the giant of Prince Albert. China is 110 kilometers that way, to the southeast, the old highway. The rail line is the famous Cabell Long Lake in the Saskatchewan Railway, a project of the firm of Oslo Hammond and Nam of Winnipeg. They lacked the resources to complete the line and so leased it to the CPR, Canadian Pacific Railway, who completed it in 1890 from the CPR mainline in Regina to Prince Albert, 245 miles. The Prince Albert Branch. CP lost the lease to Canadian Northern in July of 1906, and the line passed to Canadian National Railways when Canadian Northern collapsed towards the end of World War I. Fleeing branch line commitments, CN turned the southern reach of this railroad over the last mountain railway in 2009. Well, you could possibly rent a suite in the old hotel or have a drink in the elephant room, pick up your mail at the private post office, or catch an STC bus, I guess. The post office of Aylesbury was established on October the 1st, 1905, by H. H. Johnson. And Closed October 26, 1986. The village was incorporated on March 31st, 1910 and remains so, complete with a waterworks. Aylesbury's population peaked at 180 in 1956 and come 2011, it's down to 42. The earliest settlers remembered in this territory are the Matthews, who owned the town site, Jones, Eppards, Dresslers, Coldwaters, Elliots, Pratts, Clearwaters, Wilds, and Monroes. Look at Westward along Railway Avenue. Until it was sold off in 1977, Canadian Northern's fourth class station would have stood right in here at mile 62.2 from the CPR mainline in Regina. It was built in 1910. And here's a little sample of Last Mountain's rather eclectic collection of equipment. Some old GE 70 tonners in red and white livery. Mobile grain SD 40-3s. Mobile grain being an associate company. And a brace of newly painted CPR. SD 40-2s it looks like. Nice to see him back on the line after 115 years or so. A very nice campground with showers, reasonably priced. I camped right there. Millsbury used to be a busy place with little shops and little businesses going on. But pretty quiet now. Just like it was for a whole decade after the railway built through this neighborhood. That all changed around 1902 when Colonel Andrew Duncan Davidson organized the Saskatchewan Valley Land Company in Minnesota, acquired a million acres of potential farmland from the Capel Long Lake and Saskatchewan Railway and the Canadian government and began to aggressively market it to farming families who had settled on marginal land in the United States, the northern United States. The terms were apparently attractive, but these folks had had experience with dry land farming, some experience, and had now had access to big steam-powered tilling equipment. And the offer was well taken up by 1920. There was 50,000 farms established on a swath of land along the railway tracks between Chamberlain and Hanley. 
And we saw the curling rink earlier. These are the old ball diamonds, nothing but a hay corral now. And uh, rustic facilities. <laughs> there yeah. School was established in Aylesbury in 1909. And I believe these are the school yards in here. In fact, C.R. Wilson is over there examining a monument that says so. School was closed, the second school was closed in 1970. It stood across the street here. Now the kids go to Creek to school. Sidewalk leading to nowhere. The first elevator built in Aylesbury was the last one standing in 1906. The Hall Milling Company of Lumsden built the elevator. It was closed by Parrish and Heimbecker in 1995 and not demolished until October of 2009. There were six elevators altogether at Aylesbury. In 1911, the Canada Elevator Company built Looks like the Village Hall. In 1912, the Aylesbury Farmers Elevator and Trading Company built, as well as the State Elevator. 1916, H.R. Sutgrain. In 1929, the last one went up, Saskatchewan Wheat Pool number 948. This is the former United Church, closed in 1984. It was built in 1916 as a Methodist church, all the Presbyterians, Congregationalists and even Lutherans attended it. It was the second church built on the site. The first one was built in 1914 and burned up. There was an Anglican church in town as well. St. Augustine's built in 1916, closed in 1967 and was moved over to Scepter. One of Aylesbury's most interesting enterprises was the Bitulithic and Contracting Limited, who crushed rock for the railways making ballast, it began in 1907. The plant burned down in 1919 and the company folded in 1920. They crushed no more rock in Aylesbury, Saskatchewan.